Welcome back people, we got some more Fishing Planet for you guys here again today Doing the very last fish monster mission completing in a mo Every single one I've completed, I've completed all normal missions of Fishing Planet as well So if you're stuck on any missions, look across the channel I've made a playlist of just Fishing Planet So today, tie back Grayling wrestle up monster fish That's what we are going for So to get the monster, you first have to get the line Which I made a video on that, you can always check that out if you haven't done it I dropped that video today, and I'm also dropping this video today. I've done them as two separate videos, just so that way you guys don't have to keep taking the video back all the time and keep re-watching it. So yeah, to get the line, you need to get the line to get the monster. And we got the line earlier on this morning, and now here we are, back at Tibber River. Make sure you have a license, of course. Um, yeah, we're back here to now catch the fish monster itself, so... Obviously, look where I'm going. I will show you on the map as well, so don't worry about that. And um, I do end up using a different spinner as well. I kept on using this spinner. I kept on having a lot of bites with it, but no takers. So I ended up changing and going to a smaller hook. Um, and that worked. So, yeah, you will see that. And obviously, I'll show you my rod setup. I'll show you everything that I'm doing and using. And all the good info that you guys need to know. When I used the right spinner, obviously this one was a little bit too big, but when I used the right one, I did catch it pretty fast. So it didn't actually take me too long to catch it. And I'm in the same spot as where I got the line, got that first mission done as well. So just to mention that if anybody was interested. Anytime I do live streams, I always use face camera mic. Anytime I make videos like this, I just use the mic. I just randomly hit record. And that's how I always manage to get these best videos for you guys, showing you tips and tricks. When there is updates on this game, I'll always live stream it if it's a new lake. I'll always buy the new DLC. Getting into the new lake, showing all the new rods and reels and tackle and boats and anything else the update has to offer. I did have a bite there again. No takers because the hook was too big. Yeah, I'll always do all the new missions as well. Anytime there is updates, I'll let you guys know about it. When there's updates like this, Fish Monster Missions, I don't normally do a live stream on it. I just make videos because people are more interested in seeing that little short clip and just seeing what needs to be done and getting the job done fast. Whereas if a live stream can go on for hours and hours. Some people prefer live streams, some people not so much. They'd rather just watch that little short clip, as I said, just to get the info they need so that way they can get the mission done. I always recommend to do these missions if you're low on cash or you need that XP or you're after bait coins. Doing missions is the best way to do it. And yeah, I've completed all the fish monster missions and normal missions. So um, when there is new lakes, I'll obviously be doing those new missions. Showing you hot spots, how and where to catch certain fish, how to catch those new fish. So that's definitely a good reason to subscribe, turn notifications on. If you want to support the channel a little bit more, we now have memberships which... There will be a link in the description below. If not, by hitting that subscribe button, if you are able to share the content, please do it. Definitely helps me grow as a content creator. And don't forget to drop a like as well if you are still enjoying Fishing Planet. So this is me hooked on. I hooked on to the fish. Um, and I did end up trying to take up the strength of the reel up to two bars. But the line was going to snap. So I had to drop it back down to the one bar. So the rod setup that I've got probably is, <laughs> is probably not the very best... To use because this is not the best spinning rod on the game. This is the River Tex rod. Um, yeah, it's not the best spinning rod in the game, but I managed to use it to get this done. At one point, I was actually thinking that it was just going to keep running and I wasn't going to get it because this one did take a short minute to reel in. And again, it was because I couldn't take the drag up more. Maybe if I used a weaker reel on this rod, it probably wouldn't have been as bad. And obviously, I could have put that little bit more strain on the on the fish to try and get it in. But no, nonetheless, I still managed to bring it in. And that's the main thing. There was actually an update today. I have no clue what that was for. I can't... There isn't any information about the update. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm going to keep an eye out on it. And um, I'll let you guys know. But... Um, actually, hold on, if I look there, I might be able to tell you a little bit about it now, hold on one second, Japanese location added, we are happy to announce that now Fishing Planet is available in Japanese language, that was the update today, um, issue with the reeling speed and drag force has been fixed, an issue with fish visibility on location list fixed, that's what the update was, I knew there was some sort of update today, just uh, wasn't sure what it was. But yeah, that was the update today. And today is the 9th of the 6th, 2021. 
And I, as I mentioned, I did upload a video today. So I've dropped two videos today. The video before this was how to get the line. So you can't catch the fish monster without getting that line first. So definitely get the line first. We will eventually get this fish in. <laughs> eventually. So by doing this, we're going to get some cash, XP, bait coins, and we will get the trophy trophy mount as well. Wow, that's a really nice looking fish. That is actually really... I like the fins on it. It does look really good. Obviously, I saw a picture of the mount, but seeing the actual fish for the first time, that does look really good. Look at its eyes as well. Proper dark, deep red there. Yeah, that looks good. I would have thought he would have um, maybe bent down with this one, to be honest. I know it's only eight, nearly eight and a half pound, but normally for the fish monsters, they do bend down. But not all the time, if the fish is small, he obviously can hold it in the one hand, or she can hold it in the one hand, because she's quite strong. <laughs> yeah, I definitely, I probably could have used a better rod setup compared to what I used. But the medium spoon... Um, hash one slash zero one hot hook as some people like to call it everyone says it different but um, I'll show you the spoon in just a moment mission accomplished Tim Tiber Timber everyone class it different says it pronounced it different grayling wrestler monster congratulations with your monster catch here are some great rewards so three and a half thousand XP three and a half thousand cash and two bait coins. As I said, for me, when I'm doing these missions, it is more for you guys. I don't really need cash or XP or anything. I'm max level. Bait coins is not an issue because I always pay for that anyway. So, um, yeah, when I'm doing these missions, it is more just for you guys because you, you want it. And obviously, you need to get that extra cash. So, anyway, here we are on the map, pulling out the map. I'm going to set a marker for that just to make it a little bit more clear and a little bit more easier for you guys to, to see it. So, I'm going to zoom in. So that's where I did cast to. And the obviously the gold round circle is me, just so that way you guys know. But yeah, there's the marker. And that's where I did cast to. You can get some good distance with that River Text rod. So um, definitely a good rod to have if you don't have it. As I said, it's not the best spinning rod on the game, but it is a pretty decent rod. So this is the setup that I used. Um, and there's the medium spoon. That's the lime that we got from the first mission, which I dropped that video earlier. Kraken 9000 and the River Tex Zeus rod. Rod's probably a bit heavy duty and so is the real, but it got the job done. That's the main thing. And I brought the spoon from here from the shop just to show you guys that I brought it from the shop. So you can buy it from the shop as well without leaving tip, uh, Tiber River, Tiber River, whatever. Without lose it, leaving this place, you can buy it from the shop. So... Uh, do bear that in mind. If you don't have it on you, it's fine. You can buy it when you when you get get here. So I'm going to cast it again and zoom in just so that way you guys can see exactly where it is precisely. So I hope you guys get this mission done as well. Any comments, leave in the comment section below and I'll try and get back to you as quick as I possibly can. Hope you guys did enjoy this one. Subscribe. Don't forget to drop a like. We'll catch you people again soon for more fun and games. I am out.